WBZ this morning. Good morning to you. If you're just waking up, a bit of a different uh, change in tune today, much colder than it was yesterday. That's morning. for sure. We don't have the fog this morning we had yesterday. Yeah. That was tough. One of the foggiest mornings I've driven in a long, long time mm -hmm. here yesterday morning. It was not bad in some spots, but other places had it, and my route yeah, was yeah, completely it was fogged in. Yeah, very much. I had to navigate them because then all of yes. a sudden it was clear again. Was Put the old cool. fog lights on. So, <laughs> hey, take a look. I just love this graphic. I mean, I don't know if Eric Fisher did this one or Terry Eliason and then our executive weather producer put put this together but I just love this because I love the snowmen in this one it's a, a study of contrast here on January 1st last year January 1st 2018 the high was only 13 look at that poor little sh uh, shivering snowman there the low was zero Compare that what's going to be happening on this January 1st, New Year's Day 2019. Look at that snowman. He's melting. He's sweating. Oh, my goodness. 57 degrees is what I'm expecting for a forecast high this uh, New Year's Day. And the forecast low of 32, but that isn't going to happen early in the morning. That's going to be happening towards midnight, getting closer to January 2nd. So that's what it's looking at. And take a further look at this study of contrast. This is what we had in this series of days from December 27th to January 2nd last year, look at those numbers. Those are high temperatures. That is most, uh, that's astonishing. All the years I've been here at WBZ, I don't remember a stretch. It was so cold in Boston. We had 13 days that was below 32 degrees, and we had six that was below 20 for high. Compare that to this year. Look at these numbers here. Some that have already occurred, others that are about to occur, will be occurring in the next couple of days. That's an amazing study of contrast. We'll take a look at the numbers this morning, and it's certainly different than it was yesterday morning with temperatures as much as 20 to 25 degrees lower. We're looking at um, mostly 20s right now, and we're looking off to the north and west, and we're seeing all this cold air up in here. It's so cold that it's 35 below zero, radiation cooling up there in Churchill up in Manitoba. We're looking also at cloudiness spreading across the region right now. We talked about this yesterday, but I was hoping that it was going to move out quickly. And maybe it will do that and will turn sunnier this afternoon. But we also have a few snow showers across New York State and Pennsylvania. So we can't rule those out this morning. A few snow showers crossing the region, and then that disturbance will move by. And we should have improving weather this afternoon. So you can see some of those snow showers that come in this morning. And places that make it down to the ground, it's the snowflakes will be showing up on the ground and may turn, the ground may turn white in a few spots. But then this afternoon, we tend to get more and more in the way of sunshine breaking out. So that's the way it's looking. And we'll clear out tonight and be cold down in the 20s. Tomorrow we'll have partly cloudy weather to start. Then it will turn overcast. And the rain should start here in Boston. It's going to be delayed. So it's not going to be a soaking wet entire evening tomorrow evening for first night activities. It's probably going to get wet closer to 9 o'clock. By the time we get to the stroke of midnight, it's going to be absolutely pouring. So that's what's going on tomorrow night. This afternoon, some uh, uh, cloudy weather giving way to brightening sky and more sunshine over Gillette Stadium at kickoff 33, fourth quarter about 31. By the way, but for tailgating, there might even be a few snow flurries coming down this morning. And there goes that rain system coming our way to make it soaking wet as we ring in the new year and very mild for New Year's Day this time around, unlike last year, about 57 degrees and then cooling off in the afternoon and much colder on Wednesday. Next storm will be here on Friday with some rain. That's it.